Hey party people, this is Stinchy, uh, the one, the only, the greatest, uh, I mean, what else can I say? And uh, uh, we're back with another commentary of Heroes of the Storm, uh, Green Carpet Media is what I'm saying. And here's Travis, your host, with the most. Yo, we got Stinch back on the co-hosting duty. I thought she did so well last time that we thought we were gonna bring her back this time. Leave in the comments if you wanna see her again or if you want her out, people, because if you say you want her out, she's out. So let's jump right into the gameplay here. We got a very interesting combination, don't you think, Stinch? We have Lucio, you know Lucio, from the Overwatch oh, series. Lucio, my man. My man. It's a really cool combination because you guys know how I love that Vala and Tassadar gameplay. You can see down there at the bottom that Diablo went down to that Jaina Fury. You can't match that Jaina Might. She is a fierce lady. Ugh, the fiercest of all ladies. That's correct. So Diablo's got to watch out. He's got to build up those, uh, those stacks so he can come back to life in a clutch situation. He doesn't want to come to life just randomly when his team wipes. That's not going to... That's not going to help him out at all. He wants to be that frontline tank. There goes another person. Your boy Lucio went down. Um, these is, the red team is dying quite frequently for such an early start. I agree. It, they are being taken out very early in the game. They're going to need to put up their defenses if they're going to want to last this whole game here. That is correct, Stincho. We have... Um, and there goes Vala. Another one for the red team does go down. I'm not sure. I mean, they do have, the blue team does have that Nova who can be very tricky, but Nova's been in the north. She hasn't even been fighting in the middle, and that's where all the team deaths are going. Garrosh pulls in Lucio. Can he escape? He does have that speed boost, so he will be able to speed boost away. Just like in Overwatch, Stench, Lucio has all his trademark abilities, but just in Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, Lucio might be going in a little too deep. He doesn't want to get close to that Garrosh. He's going to pull him in and do a little uh, uh, a toss. But luckily, no one was there to capitalize on on that, and Lucio is just going to scoot away, wall, wall, wall grind away. Mm -hmm. He likes to go deep. He, his thing is, I like to go deep and make you Lucio, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know what you're saying, Stench, but I'm sure something in there is uh, makes sense to someone out there in the world. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Ariel does, doesn't currently... Okay, there she goes. She finally puts her uh, her ring on Garrosh, but Garrosh is going to go down. Vala and Leeming are going to do a ton of damage. And let's see if Nova can finish off Diablo up here. Oh, and he did it. Yep, that alien skin Diablo does go down. Uh, Jaina is pushing the southern lane extremely hard. Look, there's no towers. There's no wall. They're giving her free reign to push in that southern southern tower down there. Agreed. I uh, they are gonna need to build up their defenses again. They are just letting them. Walk yeah, you're you're all about those defenses, stench. Really hammer it up. <laughs> and uh, speaking of defenses, <laughs> speaking of defenses, Garrosh. If anyone out there that doesn't know how to play Garrosh, or if this is your first time watching Heroes of the Storm in a long time, you can see that number bar next to Garrosh's health, that green number that keeps going up to 13 to 14, that's his armor. So it's every, when Garrosh's health gets lower, the harder he is to kill. Now Vala went those mines, every time she, every time she disengages, um, she leaves a trail of mines behind her. I frankly think that this is one of the worst talents in the game And I don't think you should necessarily pick it. It is a fun talent to go and to watch people get caught up in it Oh, Lucio is gonna get caught again by that Garrosh uh, Wrecking ball, but he is going to just scoot away Got a wall right away even though there's not a wall there. He's doing it. It's an amazing thing He's looking great. Did I see a Widowmaker in here? You did. That's correct. This Nova up here stench is actually has a Widowmaker skin and there goes Jaina. She's going to get caught out. Leeming and Lucio are going to gang up, take Jaina down. She's extremely squishy, extremely vulnerable. Let's see if Garrosh can get a to toss up on Leeming. It looks like he can't. Uh, Leeming is going to throw an orb in the Zebo's way, but that's uh, it's going to miss. It's very surprising. That's a giant orb. Diablo's going in hot. He is an extremely tanky hero, and he's able to absorb that damage while Lucio does his uh, healing boosts. So it looks like the blue team actually has to retreat. Tasser does a dimensional shift. I would say a little bit early, but um, you know maybe he knows what he's doing. You know I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. There goes Widowmaker capturing that no, giving her team the vision over um, 
watchtower over there so they can see a larger radius. Pal is going to go in and do an extreme amount of damage. There goes Lucio getting wreck wrecking ball by Garrosh again, being tossed into the middle. But the blue team does not have the damage to follow up on that. They need that Jaina there. That's where the damage is going to come from. I guarantee you, Stench, um, that Jaina is the key to the blue team winning. You see how the blue team's walking around in threes? They have Garrosh and Azebo and Ariel here. Oh, Garrosh is getting a little bit low, but armoring up, he's not going to go down really fast. So Lucio got a little bit uh, zealous, got in a little bit too deep, and took too much damage. I feel you, that Garrosh is getting Garrosh up in here, you know? <laughs> he's getting sick. Mm -hmm. He's getting it. He's getting just sick house on them. Li Ming is going to take down these siege camps, and Li Ming and Jaina, the mage battle continues on. Who is the better mage? That, Li Ming or Jaina? Stage? That is a great question. They are equally great mages. Uh, it's just your personal preference, really. You like, you like, like arcane, or do you like frost, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I agree with you, Stench, 100%. It looks like Garrosh is going to toss in another Lucio. Lucio has just been in the eye of the storm, just taking that damage. Garrosh is getting extremely low up north. Look at him getting lasered down by Tasker, but you can see Nazebo is getting taken down. There goes Lucio. He's finally down, but look how low the blue team is down here. But Diablo goes down instead. Diablo and Lucio. looks like the blue team has managed to actually survive uh, when they were so low. Everyone was at 10%. That was a, that was a good turnaround down there. Look at Vala getting thrown in. She just got a disengaged, but it looks like Garrosh is going to taunt her, and she's not going to be able to move, and her team's going to take her down. It's looking uh, not so not so well for the red team as they lose another fort here, Stench. Actually, the fort does not go down. It's Oh, no, never mind. It goes down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, speak of the devil. <laughs> speak of the devil. So the red team is actually down two forts, and they are behind pretty sizable in the... Uh, in the uh, hero uh, levels here. Well, you know what they say, you know, size is not all that matters. That's true, Stench, but it does matter once you get your heroics because it makes the makes it ex uh, exponentially harder for the red team to catch back up. Oh, well, then in this case, size does matter. <laughs> size does matter indeed. <laughs> so the blue team is going to rotate out. They do not want to engage too deep into the red team's territory. Um, the red team is able to pull back to their towers and get uh, a good defensive stance. It looks like the red team does want to clear out some lanes. You can see up at the northern top here that um, Nova and Jane are going to take out um, those minion camps. Garrosh is getting caught out here. He might actually go down. Diablo is going to pin him against the wall stitch mm. and take him down. The blue team is in full retreat. Oh, that health bar is That health crazy. bar is crazy and it is full. Nazebo is the only one here dealing out that damage, and I bet Nazebo, since he's been with the Garrosh, since he's been with the Ariel and been getting those heals, I bet you he's top DPS. Um, and we'll find out here in a second who is the top DPS for the blue team and who is the top DPS on the red team. I would say that Vala most likely is the top DPS on the red team. She's able to put out that damage, especially if she has Tassadar shields. Agreed. She is nothing to be messed with. That's correct, Stencho. She is, she is the real Sasha Fierce. Oh, mm. <laughs> spicy. Is she smizing? I think so. <laughs> uh, so Garrosh is gonna go in there and look for a flip, and the Zebo might catch someone with a zombie wall here, but it looks like no one fell into the middle. So, uh, red team is in a good position here to engage. I think they have a 50 percent. Garrosh right here, and he's just gonna try to walk away, but get hit in the face by a leaving blast. The Sky Temple has come out now, Stench, and look at Garashi. He is trying his hardest to tank, but he, he's been wearing that Ariel crown for way too long, honestly. He's not a damage dealer. Ariel needs to put that on a Nazebo. Oh, look, you see Garosh uh, toss Ariel into a, into a camp, and the camp almost killed Ariel. Look at that. Ooh, that was a crazy mess. Right that that might have been too embarrassing, <laughs> honestly. But, yeah. I was embarrassed for him. But you'll notice that... Um, for some reason, Garrosh has been wearing that Ariel crown, and that's how Ariel generates her uh, generates her hope. Oh, it looks like a Divine Aegis does go on Nazebo, and he is extremely low, but he is able to walk away, and Diablo is actually getting uh, dangerously close to dying. He needs to pull off, and they thought that was an actual Nova, but it was just a Nova clone. 
Uh, Vala is going to get caught by the zombie while Ariel is going to do an extreme amount of damage and take that Vala down. And there was no shells, there was no healing for, for poor, poor Vala, and she goes down. Ooh, they just swiped and took what they wanted and just headed right out. What is theirs <laughs> is theirs for the taking stage. Ooh, uh, I want to live by that. Yes, you do. You see how Garrosh, like I said, Garrosh is still wearing that crown. He, Ariel needs to put it on Jaina. Uh, she needs to put it on um, uh, Nazebo, someone that's able to do um, more damage than Garrosh. She doesn't do a lot of damage, and that's how she builds up her hope meter. However, they did nerf. They did actually nerf that ability, so maybe it has changed, and I'm just unaware of it. But I'm pretty sure that that's not really how it works. Okay, we can see down here while they're taking the bot. Well. We'll go back to the damage meters in just a second, but let's see who actually gets this boss, because this could change the course of the game right here. Uh, it looks like Garrosh is actually going to go down here, but not before Vala falls, one of their main DPS. Uh, it looks like Ariel's going to go down to a Diablo charge. Uh, Nova's about to go down, but the blue team does score that boss, even though every single blue team member is probably going to die. Garrosh is walking away, Jaina is getting ping-ponged around over here, and she's going to go down, definitely. Was it worth it? We will find out. I think, I think it was, I mean, they, they had to commit to it. I mean, once they got the boss down to 10%, they had to, they had to capture it or else they, uh, they were going to give it over to the red team. Yeah. So they had to stay on the boss, even if it meant death. Mm -hmm. we, these are the things you got to do in this game. And yeah, you gotta win. exactly. Look at these numbers. Look at that Nazebo hero damage. It's insane. Uh, even more than the Vala. Like I said, I thought the Vala was going to do a ton of damage, but Nazebo is doing uh, a, sizable, a, a sizable amount more damage, and that's why the red team is falling so much. 13 to 8. But it looks like they, the red team is actually caught up in the hero level. It is 14 to 14. Remember how they were so far behind before. Yeah, that's crazy. Looks like Tassigar is going to go down. That Nazebo is just doing a ton, a ton of damage right now. It is insane. Diablo is also going to go down. Uh, Nazebo ice blocks because he was getting a little bit too deep. Leaming and Valor are on top of his nutsack. And that's one zombie nutsack you do not want to... Uh, do not want to fight with. Look at Garrosh. He is after that Vala. He needs to be staying with his team in the front line. He is the tank. He doesn't need to be going and chasing out a Vala, in my personal opinion. What do you think, Stench? I definitely agree with you. His, uh, his work could be better suited in other places. Can we take a moment and appreciate that surfing animation, though? That's it is good. Beautiful. It is good. Those Blizzard team, that Blizzard team is out in California, so I mean, I'm sure they got that surf and turf out there. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, we have all kinds of crazy vehicles here, Stench. So uh, strap in and get ready. You're impressed with that Cho'Gall. Uh, I did like that Cho'Gall one. I yeah. also like the horse over the shoulder. That is my personal favorite. That is a good one. You're a big Cho'Gall fan. Stench, uh, since you are a little bit biased, who do you think is going to win this game? Who, do you, who has your money today? Um, you know, like I said, I've always been... An underdog story, but um, today I'm I'm going with blue. I feel like they are definitely showing. Uh, They're showing a lot stamina. of potential, better yeah. stamina, better yeah. skills in general, a lot exactly. more damage. Exactly. Um, I would definitely agree with you. I think the blue team is doing a better job at capturing. Um, um, they are at, they are actually behind structurally. But they are ahead in levels and also in kills. So if they can keep that up, especially during the late game, if they can keep this momentum going, then they should be able to snowball into something a lot greater. Because like I like I always say, when those death timers get going, Tassadar gets wrecking balled by Garrosh, but he's able to dimensional shift away. Lucio gets caught out. But it looks like it looks like Nazebo is about to go down, but he ice blocks. There goes Nazebo. Garrosh is trying to friendly throw him, but it was too late. Too much damage is being done. Look at the blue team. They are fading here. Stench, as soon as you gave them the, your blessing, it looks like they are going down. So I don't see I don't see uh, Nova's uh, death timer. That might have been a bug or of some sort, but she should be back in probably like uh, 20 more seconds here. Um, but yeah, it looks like the red team did a fantastic job, and if they can keep that up, especially doing that late game pressure, um, they they might actually they might actually win because I mean they have that Tassadar, they have that Lucio, and they have two damage dealers that are insane. They have a strong potential, Bala and Lee Ming, fantastic potential to do a lot of damage. 
great potential, but also I already called my bookie, so hopefully the blue team wins. Well, hopefully you saved your money from the last bet that you did. <laughs> it looks like Ariel's about to go down as well. That's another one for the blue team. 50 seconds that she's going to be out of commission. That's right. their only healer. While the red team, they can maybe sacrifice a Tassadar. Uh, maybe sacrifice a Lucio because both those guys are support. They're both, in a sense, I wouldn't say they're both healers, but uh, Tascar's a support and Lucio's a support. It looks like the red team is feeling strong in this engagement. You do see a, uh, you do see a, and Nazebo also going down. Garrosh is about to go down. Oh, Jaina, and uh, and if they can get this Nova right here, that's that's a full team life stench. Oh. That is a full team life. That is painful to watch. It is extremely painful. Pocket. Yep, your pocketbook is bleeding. I'm looking uh, at it right now. It's disgusting, everyone. Uh, <laughs> Stench, you need to watch that pocketbook. Uh, this might be a snowball. As soon as you gave the blue team your blessing, you know, you cursed them. Uh, usually that is how it happens. Yeah. Uh, no lie. <laughs> <laughs> but there could be, uh, the red team could mount an epic comeback here, so we will see. And it looks like they're going for that boss. They are going for that boss. They have they plenty. Get it. They have plenty of time to get this boss. The blue team is still dead. The boss is at 50%. They're going to be able to take that down, push with extreme fidelity, not only with the boss, but they also have the siege camp pushing down here to the south as well. That's going to do a lot of damage. So a boss, siege camp, and a five-man team pushing all at once. Even a second siege camp coming. Ooh, they are doing a phenomenal job bringing back from the beginning. I totally thought their skill level was not to par but now they are definitely doing work they are definitely they are doing work absolutely you can see that they are 19 about to hit their level 20 talent i'm not even sure that they will hit their level 20 talents you can see that nova is way too deep way too deep right now she is at one percent she has to run back to the run back to the um beginning of the level i hate to see her go but i love to watch her leave you know yeah, i know what you're saying that skin Stincho, Stincho, come down here. <laughs> and it looks like uh, it looks like the boss is going to take down that bottom keep, and it looks like Garrosh is going to go down as well. And a Jaina, that's that is that is devastating. That's going to be a three on five plus a boss plus uh, two siege camps. I think this is going to be GG, Stinch. What do you think? Um, I I'm not calling it now because I will jinx it. But look at the core health, twenty percent. Uh. 10%, 5%, it oh, is over. Oh, red team. Yep. You broke my heart. So hopefully Stench did the correct thing and saved her money up because she might have some leg breakings coming her way. Uh, I definitely got some uh, kneecaps that I'll be missing. Yep. Well, thanks for joining us today, guys. If anyone does see this video, currently I don't think we have any viewers or any subscribers. I don't well, think we're very popular on the internet. I'm here. Uh, obviously, I'll br be bringing my viewers. Yes, you'll be bringing your viewers over, so oh, hopefully yeah. we don't get any dislikes because I know how your viewers like to do you, Stencho. <laughs> I've definitely hated over the <laughs> internet. <laughs> so maybe it's a detriment bringing you into my into my commentary. Shh, double my pay. <laughs> yes, Stencho. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you do have any replays that you would like me to see, I would definitely cast them, and um, I would definitely like to see them. Um, and me and Stencho here might cast them, or just me, I might cast them because Stencho is a busy person. Um, uh, please send your replays to greencarpetmail at gmail.com. That's greencarpetmail at gmail.com. Leave a subs uh, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and Stitcho here will eventually answer all your uh, commentary. It eventually. I'm not making any promises, but I, I got you, people. I, it, it, it'd be cool. Uh, do your signature sign-off, Stincho. All right, signature sign-off is, Hey, this is Stincho. I'm leaving. Peace. Bye.